It's never easy to make dreams come true. For Mason Ewing, it was harder still. This 2006 show featured the collection's prize creation, the Marie Antoinette dress, a dress that Mason conjured up with passion and without ever seeing it. In fact, Mason Ewing has been blind since his teenage years in Paris, a handicap resulting from mistreatments by his adoptive aunt and uncle. And yet he has fond memories of his childhood in Cameroon. The few memories I have from Cameroon are of my mother. I remember her sewing. I'd sit on the ground playing with her measuring tape while she patched up clothes for the children where I lived in Douala, Cameroon. When his parents died, he was sent to Paris and was taken in by his uncle and aunt. That was when he decided what he wanted to be. I've always loved fashion. When I was a kid, I used to watch the fashion parades with models like Naomi Campbell on the catwalk. When I was just a kid, I decided to work in fashion and follow my mother's footsteps. In 2001, he took the first tentative steps toward becoming a designer. The few job interviews he got proved unsuccessful. Nobody seemed to believe in him. For lots of people, I was just the blind guy. They said, Mason, you should become a telephone receptionist. You can't see, so you don't have much choice. You have to understand that if we can't make it in the fashion world, you're not going to. I got criticized from all sides. People called me a liar. They thought I couldn't possibly become a designer. But Mason is stubborn, and he didn't let go. Sherwood, a childhood friend, is convinced that Mason's pure energy and drive helped him overcome his handicap. When you get to know him, you find yourself forgetting his handicap. That's really something. I have great faith in him and his projects. He always believed, although he was often the only one who did, but he never gave up. He went all the way, and I think he'll go even further. Another person impressed by Mason's refusal to give in was Anne Toulier, one of the managers of AGIFIP, an association to help handicapped people. She decided to finance his first fashion show. En réalité, on est assez habitué à financer des personnes handicapées qui ont des projets, etc. We're used to funding projects for handicapped people, but at first Mason's particular handicap didn't seem to be compatible with what he wanted to do. It seemed a bit complicated for a visually handicapped person to be working in fashion, designing clothes. He had such determination that he won us over. But there was still one question remaining. How do you design a collection of clothes that you can only see in your mind's eye? Je voulais vraiment rendre hommage à ma mère et c'est à partir de mars, mars 2000. I wanted to pay a tribute to my mother, so from March 2001 I started trying to find people capable of drawing clothes that corresponded to what I had in mind. William Plou was one of the artists swept up in the adventure. He tried to understand what clothes design could mean for a non-sighted designer. Quand on est non-voyant, euh, forcément, on a, on a une vue sur, euh, sur les matières et sur le vêtement qui est différente. Et euh, donc, on n'a que la matière. Donc, c'est euh, juste en touchant des matières. Quand vous ne pouvez pas voir, vous avez une façon différente de percevoir les matières. Juste en touchant les matières, vous pouvez dire la différence entre le silk, le crêpe et le fur. Vous pouvez dire quelles matières vont ensemble juste par le fil. C'est un tenth de ce qu'un designer doit faire. Il y a aussi la question de la forme et de la couleur, mais c'est une partie importante du processus. Je pense qu'un personne qui est non sighté ou partiellement sighté a une sensation différente pour les matières. Une personne qui est non sighté ou partiellement sighté a, a peut-être cette faculté de, de une sensibilité différente de la matière. Mason wanted to highlight this difference of perception and apply it to other creative activities. Graphic design is also an important element in his work. The Bebe Mason character that features on his t-shirts symbolizes this universal approach. In his latest collection, the young designer has drawn his inspiration from street styles. 
He has also started working to promote the cause of mistreated children and the handicapped. He dreams of returning home to Cameroon next year to put on a fashion show. As if by design, he has come full circle and proved his worth to those who could not see his true value.